a cute position. <laughs> Sitting not on the couch. That's so ingenue. What the fuck does ingenue mean? This is in response to an article I read about internet ranting. And I think the, the focus of the article is more about textual ranting, a.k.a. you read a, an article on something that you strongly disagree with, so you type out your frustrations, and then somebody else comes in and is opposing to your view, and then you all of a sudden you're ranting back and forth at each other about how wrong the other person is. That's internet ranting. I don't know if it necessarily wanted to focus on this kind of ranting, which is, hey, here's a thought I have that I... I thought out. The article suggested that people who rant a lot on the internet, aka argue a lot and f fight about their thoughts with another person a lot, I'm guessing like a huge amount, like, I don't know, 60% of your day. The article suggests that that person may, in fact, become more angry as time goes by because What's happening is that people are getting a sort of euphoric rush when they commence their comments, their angry rant comment, and then they're like, yeah, ha <laughs> ha, see that? That's gone now. But then throughout the day, maybe it molds over in their head and they, you know, progressively get more angry and they, you know, it's the, the rage that they feel at something that they can't control is more explosive outwardly and more often. Personally, you know, if you're not angry at some things and you're happy at everything, then, you know, you're a bit, I don't know the word, mechanical, perhaps? You're not a human, <laughs> you're an alien. A dog, uh, dogs are happy. Dogs are happy campers. I think ranting in that sense is good like they there's nothing wrong with venting your frustration at things that you can't control but in the end you do have to think well what else can I do if I can't control it what more can I do besides actively doing something but if it's something that you legit can't control like this the world's liking of the Kardashians or or the fact that an urgent wire cross that said Beyonce and Jay-Z went to Cuba. Like, come on, you know? <laughs> I can't control that, and I never will. I haven't been ranting lately. Not for any other reason other than I'm just... Don't have too much to say. But I have noticed that I, in my life, in my IRL life, <laughs> I'm not... Oh, that was so redundant. In my IRL moments, <laughs> I'm not losing my temper as much. I never thought I was an angry person, but I do have a bad temper. It's not my temper, it's my dad's temper. I just inherited it. But this could also be due to the fact that I have not smoked in a month and a half. You know, when you stop smoking, you 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 mellow out a little bit. I know it's weird, but you do. It's chemicals and shit. I look back to some of my earlier rants that I did when I was 24, and I have more of like this is so weird to say, but you have as you go get older, you know. I think I think you sort of like mature more, maybe. I think when I first started ranting. The rants were based and fueled by rage more so. It was kind of like, oh, fuck you, I hate this fucking thing. Ugh, see that? Fuck you, I hate it. Ugh. And now they've kind of taken a turn towards, um, <clears throat> hey guys, how can we improve on these things that we see in society? I'm doing the shocker. And I know right now, if you haven't experienced these age groups, that 24 to 27 doesn't seem like a big age gap, but it really is. You reflect way more on things as you get older. And you're not the same person that you were at 24. I feel like the more that I would rant about things, it took a turns, it took twists and turns. It was more about, like, things in the media that I hated, and then it was like internet phenomenon that I find reprehensible, kind of. And I think, I think reading this article about 
uh, internet ranting and rage is kind of interesting, especially because you see it more and more. On my opinions and free speech, I said there isn't an article that goes by that you see on the internet where people are not yelling at each other for something. And the more I think about it, the more I wonder, is this going to be a bad thing in the in the long run? You know, the myriad comments that I've received of, from angry teenagers about a banned comment that I made two and a half years ago, the more anger that I see from that, like, that can't lead to anything good. I just see a lot of people on the internet that are just very, uh, it's just, it's just bitching. It's not trying to make something lighter. It's not trying to bitch about something in a funnier way. It's just bitching. And it's just bitching over stuff that you just bitching can't control. And it's just anger. It's not even like, Lighthearted, like, oh, you're so silly. It's just, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you not think the way I do? And I just see nothing good coming of that. Absolutely nothing. It's why I stopped going on Tumblr as much. Maybe once a week at most I'll go on Tumblr because all the posts that I would see were just comment after comment after comment of of argument rebuttal rebuttal that rebuttal rebuttal re like over and over and I'm just like good god man <laughs> and while I don't want to stop ranting altogether I do want to lessen it and I don't want this channel to be about just ranting all the time you know because like I said it's fine to vent your frustrations about things but I just feel like it's getting kind of redundant at this point like yeah there's things in this world that Gina cannot control oh no that's the worst tragedy to befall humankind in these centuries I think that there is a discrepancy there. I mean, there are people that are just angry people and they rant and you're like, whoa, really? Okay. And then there's other people that when they come on here and rant, it's more about here's my thoughts in a funny way. That's a general consensus that I, consensus that I get from internet ranters on YouTube. Just for me personally, I'd rather play video games and maybe make some like fake PSAs if I ever finish Fifty Shades Darker, reread Fifty Shades Freed, but <laughs> in a funny British accent, of course. But I don't know. I don't want to do the rant stuff that much anymore. I don't know. It's just not how I feel like rolling right now. I am going on vacation next week. I'm going to be tanner than you because <laughs> I'm going to Florida. So that's what I'm doing. And my birthday is not next week, but the week after, so. Hooray, I'll be 27. It's an awesome age. I'm, like, so excited to be 27. <laughs> because it rolls off the tongue way better than 26. Oh, I'm 26. No, I'm 27. <laughs> you know, it sounds way better. And I will play the new Amnesia when it comes out. <laughs> I'm going to be so scared of it. So that's really all I had to rant about ranting. We really come full circle. <laughs> Later, bitches.